The Monkey and the Crocodile A monkey lived on a rose apple tree by the side of a river. The rose apple tree had plenty of fruits all the year round. There's nothing a monkey likes better than rose apples. One day a crocodile came out of the river and went close to the rose apple tree. Who are you? shouted the monkey from the tree top. The crocodile looked up saw the monkey and said, I am a crocodile from a place far away. I am just wandering in search of food. Food? I have plenty of rose apples here. Try one. If you like it, I can give you as many as you want. So saying, the monkey plucked a few rose apples and threw them down. The crocodile ate them and said, I like them very much. This is the best fruit I have eaten in all my life. The monkey threw down more rose apples and the crocodile ate them all. The crocodile asked, Can I come again? Will you give me some more fruits? You are always welcome, said the monkey. You are my guest. You can eat as many rose apples as you want. The crocodile said he would come again and took leave of the monkey. Next day the crocodile came back. The monkey was happy to see him and gave him more rose apples to eat. The monkey and the crocodile became friends. Every day the crocodile visited the monkey. They spent much time together. They talked about everything they knew. One day they talked about their families and friends. The monkey said he was alone and was lucky to have a friend like the crocodile. The crocodile said he lived with his wife on the other side of the river. You have a wife, said the monkey. You did not tell me that before. I would have given you rose apples for her also. The crocodile said he would love to take some out to his wife. The monkey plucked many rose apples and gave them to the crocodile. The crocodile went home with the monkey's gift. His wife liked the rose apples very much. She wanted to have more of them and her husband said he would try to get her some every day. The monkey and the crocodile became close friends and spent more and more time together. When they parted in the evenings, the monkey always gave the crocodile a gift of rose apples for his wife. The crocodile's wife loved rose apples, but she did not like her husband coming home late every day. She wanted to put a stop to it. She said one day, I feel you have been telling me a lie. How can you, a crocodile, spend so much time in the company of a monkey? He is not of our kind. We kill monkeys and eat them. I am telling you the truth, said the crocodile. This monkey is a friend of mine. He likes me and I like him. He lives on the rose apple tree and I visit him every day. He gives me rose apples to eat and even sends some for you. If the monkey eats only these sweet rose apples, thought the crocodile's wife, his flesh must be sweet too. A most delicious dinner he would make if only I could get him here. Then she said aloud, If you are really his friend, why don't you invite him home one day? I would very much like to meet him. No, no, I don't think I can do that, said the crocodile. He lives on land and may drown if he tries to swim across. But you are his friend, said the crocodile's wife. You just invite him. A monkey is always clever. He is sure to find a way to come here. The crocodile was not happy about inviting his friend home. With every passing day, his wife's craving for the monkey's flesh increased. She had to find a way to get at the monkey, and she thought of a plan. One day she pretended to be very ill. She shed tears as though she was in great pain. The crocodile was sad that his wife was ill. He sat by her side and said, What can I do to help you? I am very ill, said his wife. I asked the doctor and he said, I would get well only if I ate a monkey's heart. A monkey's heart? Yes, dear, a monkey's heart. You must get your friend's heart if you want me to get well. How can I do that? He is my only friend 
and I cannot think of doing him any harm. Then go and live with your friend. You don't love your wife. You love only your friend. You want to see me dead? Then you can be with him always. The crocodile was unhappy. He could not think of doing his friend any harm. At the same time, he could not let his wife die. How can I kill my friend? He asked, shedding tears. What is your difficulty in killing a monkey? Crocodiles have to kill other animals if they are to live. The crocodile shed more tears. He did not know what to do. You don't love me, said his wife. I have decided to end my life. When you come back today, you will find me dead. The crocodile began to think. As a husband, it was his duty to look after his wife. He decided to save her life, so he went to the rose apple tree. When the monkey saw him, he asked, Why, my friend, why are you so late? Did you meet with an accident on the way? No accident, said the crocodile. My wife and I had a quarrel. She said, I am not your friend. You have done so much for us, but I have not yet invited you home. Now she is eager to meet you and has asked me to take you home today. How sweet of her to ask me home, said the monkey. I too would like to meet her. But how can I get there? You live in water and I would drown if I tried to go to your place. We live on the river bank, said the crocodile. I can take you there easily. You can ride on my back while I swim. The monkey thought it was a good idea. He was happy he had good friends like the crocodile. With the monkey sitting on his back, the crocodile swam across the river. On reaching the middle of the river, the crocodile began to sink. Hey, cried the frightened monkey. What are you doing? I shall drown if you go down any further. I am going down further, said the crocodile. I want to kill you. Kill me? Why? asked the monkey in surprise. Why, my friend? Why do you want to kill me? My wife is ill, and the doctor has said she must eat the heart of a monkey to get well. You are the only monkey I know. I have to kill you and give her your heart. The monkey was shocked. He knew his life was in danger. What could he do? He thought hard for a while and said, My good friend, why didn't you tell me before? I would be most happy to give my heart to save your wife. But how can I do it now? I keep my heart safe in a hole on the rose apple tree. I have not brought it along. If you had told me what you wanted before we set out, I would have gladly given you my heart then and there. Is that so? asked the crocodile. Yes, said the monkey. Let us go back at once and get the heart before your wife gets worse. The crocodile turned back and swam as fast as he could to the rose apple tree. When they got there, the monkey jumped up and hurried up the tree. Perched comfortably on the high branch, he looked down at the crocodile and said, Now you can go back alone to your wicked wife and tell her that her husband is the biggest fool in the world.